came to scatter all our ships yesterday i said hey how is this we going to be what's going to happen how is our yemi going to twist all of this how is our kosi going to react how is our blue going to react and of course we have our black boy and um, marvin as well how is those, this whole situation going to go hey oh my said to hold on we have a lot for you to come and talk about and i'm like okay i'm here for all the gist sweet to follow welcome to my channel thank you so much for just doing with me today if this is your first time on this channel please consider that subscribing to the channel turn on the notification bell right beside so you don't miss out on any of the amazing gifs that i come to drop here as your faves are serving it and bringing it hot hot to your table okay as you can see in the video you just watched now hmm. yemi tried to apologize to kosi yesterday after the breaking and shaking of table and all of that he went to bed kosi said babe i know i haven't been totally honest with you i know i've been this i know i've been that i'm so sorry i'm so can you come? Yemi was shy begging and begging. And Kosi was like, babe, no. This isn't the first time you're apologizing. So you were trying to tell me just literally yesterday that there is nothing between you and this girl. Meanwhile, she's telling you that she doesn't want to be a side chick no more. Like, you finish doing whatever we do together on bed. You go downstairs to go. Yemi was like, no. Even if I'm the most, uh, what's the word? Even if I'm the most stupid person on here do you think i would ever do that to you because it was like i know you will do it at first yami was trying to say no it's not true it's a lie but later i now said okay maybe before i used to do it but i stopped i stopped throughout last week i wasn't doing it so um ebuka was referring to you know weeks ago not now hey because it was like i don't believe you i don't shake any after some time because she has started to cry say yami you're making me look stupid you are doing all of that you're doing all of that yami was apologizing pro making promises he said babe i promise to do better i promise to do this i promise to shake any come like okay oh yemi are we ready to see the lover boy part of yemi because it's what is giving you know, with all the promises that yemi made yesterday he now told her baby come and sit down what do you want will you change we have a kilo he was like will you change your dress would you have a shower can you call can you call she was like no my head is aching me then he asked okay sit down babe let me just make you something for the headache he ran to the kitchen made something for the headache brought it after that one is like babe let me make you tea ah, ah, ah. yo that year we was going on use blanket to cover cosy and like hmm it will be very interesting to see the lover boy side of yemi but do you think that yemi is going to be faithful do you think that this playboy thing can just leave yemi body like that don't forget that yemi has said it the outside of the house is even worse than this he's only trying to control himself because he's on the show the outside of the house is a bigger flirt and all of that so do you think that all those things will just change within the space of how many weeks or within the space of how many days because every guy has called him out are we ready to see the lover boy side of yemi guys let me know what you think in the comment section do you think yemi will have the capability of becoming a lover boy or do you think he's going to know how he's going to play the game so he promised Kosi yesterday that he's going to speak with blue that he feels like what is missing is proper communication between himself and blue and that's what he's going to do now i'm like okay but i am me we are saying what you are doing <laughs> the most funny part was miracle so miracle came when they were having a conversation and miracle was like Kosi, are you okay yemi was like let me first looked at him and like ignored like what who was miracle <laughs> this miracle i mean i thought that this table shaking would finally give miracle a chance but mm, 
apparently mm -mm, because he's still with Ayemi, hoping that Ayemi is going to change so my uncle was like kosi are you okay Yemi was like bro she's fine he's like no i have to hear from kosi i'm like bro hey my uncle you my jack bow i mean what's your problem anyways you won't blame my uncle my uncle so much likes kosi according to him and according to uh, miracle said he said this Yemi just annoys him so much makes him so hungry that he wish that people that will leave him and Yemi in a boxing ring for just five minutes it will beat Yemi blue black i'm like guys what do you think <laughs> anyway the strength of a man is not about the physique and all of that we don't know but yeah, miracle can beat Yemi or Yemi is going to beat miracle maybe people that should help us so you know test that side but miracle was so angry even speaking with tabang yesterday miracle was telling tabang that this Yemi i don't respect him at all he's a game part he doesn't even give me a reason to respect him based on game and now he's making a woman go through this he's so disrespectful he doesn't respect women we know what to do to guys like that's where i come from oh my it was a serious thing you know, miracle was so pissed yesterday and he was like look at this one she's sitting down there drinking tea <laughs> You know when you really like someone and the person likes another person that is not treating her well on my film miracle spain but then again take it easy don't hate yemi because yemi wasn't saying if he was in miracle shoes he will never have a reason to fight with the guy it will be with the lady because it's the lady he has business with you get that kind of thing so if he was like what miracle is doing is so unnecessary and if he was in miracle shoes he wouldn't do it but what miracle did yesterday when they're having a conversation i feel like mm -mm, that one said not to make sense anyways uh, there is mervyn who is trying to break up with blue and he told blue yesterday night that okay babe i told you i wanted to get to know you now i know you and i think i'm taking a step back and blue was like ah are you serious can you call can you come then mommy asked that blue do you like me she's like yes i like you said do you but you also like black boy and yemi then she was not like ah. Uh, why don't you let us forget that one? Let us concentrate on me and you. Forget those other ones. Hmm. The mommy smiled and said, Oh, my, you are so good at this thing. Oh, blue, blue, the smooth operator. Hmm. That's how Marvin and Black went and got carry blue and then take her to a room. Like, let's have a conversation. Marvin was like, ah, The smooth operator, how are you now? Hmm. Then she tells both of them that she likes them for different reasons, that they all have different personalities. So she likes them for different reasons. Anyways, they shall began to question her. And like I said, different reaction on social media so people are saying hey what give them what uh, gave this men the right to start questioning blue i don't understand <laughs> it's the way some people are um bashing yemi and insulting him and then praising blue are you joking like none of them is actually right for what they did blue had no right to play with people's feelings like that okay imagine mervyn and black boy were not having conversations she what she was trying to do was to play with their head of course she hasn't kissed any of them except to yemi so it was with all the i can't kiss because of the story in my mouth and then she's kissing yemi and why why would you want to do that why that's so wrong so both blue and yemi are both wrong you have the right to play with people's emotions that way maybe both of them even deserve each other according to what the said. You see this year, me and Blue, they deserve each other because what was all this nonsense? Anyways, Blue knows what she signed to with Yemi because she knows that Yemi was with Kosi before she came into the house. And she doesn't mind being a side chick. You see this thing that Mervyn and Black Boy did to Blue yesterday? That's what Kosi wanted to do with Yemi as well. She wanted herself and Blue to call Yemi to the middle and then let him come and say his truth. Like, why are you trying to play us? But because Blue was comfortable being a side chick, so you're like, I beg I don't want to get involved in that triangle and that's what she expected the men to do as well do you get it? she she sent the men that low you just concentrate on my love with you my own love is enough for you hey black boy you too my own love is enough like don't bother about the external factors like if you want to operate operate <laughs> guys anyways i feel like in all of this uh, for now because we don't know what's going to happen during the course of the week but for now mervyn has broken up with blue um black boy has broken up with blue yemi plans to go and break up with blue hmm. now who is blue going to move with i've been moving on with in the house we really do not know and this newfound love between kosi and yemi not had your last year because you don't know what's gonna happen what are you going to serve us with this week and valentine's is tomorrow hmm guys do you think that yemi will not also try to plan something with blue anyways this morning kosi was asking yemi that when are you going to talk your talk the talk you said you're going to talk with 
blue when are you going to do it and Yami said i wanted to do it yesterday but you said i shouldn't do it so i'm going to do it today and according to Yemi, actions even speak louder than voice but or than words rather but still i'm going to speak with her and let her know what's up before i started this video tabang wanted to also have a conversation with kosi i don't know what he's about to tell her but of course i'll come here to gist you whatever it is that went down the week wager for this week is themed uh, we are african so the housemates are supposed to present um a very beautiful african theme merging south african culture with the nigerian culture now they're supposed to create flag they're supposed to create costumes and they're supposed to create artifacts to depict the culture this week they reach at 50 percent of their earnings of their baby tokens so whatever it is if they fail they'll lose 50% and if the win, they'll gain 50%. So that's it. At some point, Alyssa was like, guys, are we saying 50% because we are scared that we failed? <laughs> and Justin said, sincerely, me, I'm scared. Look at everything that we have to do. You understand? Oh, it's a long thing. We wish them all the best this week. And for Genio and uh, Melee that have left the Big Brother house, wish them the very, very best with whatever it is that they want to do. We know that media rounds will soon start and there will be lots of things said and all of that and some kind of damage because when these people are in the house they will say this they will say that when they come out their team will tell them okay just do this do this and all of that mm. anyways we are here for all the drama in between and i'll be here to serve you the gist of whatever is going down in the corner if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and click on the like button you see the like button you give to this video is really really significant because that's the way we get more visibility so please click on the like button follow us on the social media platforms where we drop live updates on what's going on in the house and i'll be right back with more just remember to stay loved and stay beautiful and happy valentine's in advance guys <laughs>